Hello planner friends and welcome to my first week in this Traveler's Notebook um, planner insert and this is the first week I started the One Book July challenge so it's like a fresh uh, bullet journal and I need to add some information. So the first thing I went for was my monthly outlook. Now. I did sketch all of this ahead of time because I think it's a little redundant sometimes when people show off their bullet journaling and they show the sketch and then they show the pen so I just wanted to cut one or the other and I am actually doing two monthly layouts which is also a little bit redundant but I really thought critically about what I wanted to see in a month. In fact, I t probably took a day just going back and forth and back and forth debating what I truly needed and I decided at the end of the day I still wanted this standard monthly grid layout where you have the Monday through Sunday and little boxes that we are pretty much inundated with since birth. This is standard calendar format. So I kept it We'll see if I keep it for the rest of the months um, or going forward past this challenge. But since I started on June the 26th and I wanted to extend it until the very last week of July, I just added June and August um, to, to complete my grid square. And I just used my gray midliner to kind of differentiate between that and the solid black of July. And I'm just using two different size micron pens. They're my favorite. Um, they work really well when you have to erase over them. They don't uh, turn gray or smudge or anything like that. So it's fantastic. And I am also using my trusty Hello Kitty pyramid ruler, although I guess any pyramid ruler will do. However, I did try that engineering one I bought at my campus bookstore a few weeks ago, and the pyramid is far too small. I think it's just a scale ruler, but the pyramid's too small and it's a little clunky to work with, so this one's pretty much perfect. And the second calendar layout I'm using is just the um, standard one I think a lot of people who bullet journal use, and that's like a line per day, but I decided to do two lines per day. And here I apologize, but my lines were off because I forgot to include August when I originally um, blocked off this time. So, yay, fabulous. Once again, I'm sorry. <laughs> but in keeping with this whole kind of using what I have, I decided I haven't really been using my style fit pen. I have so many inks for it. I still have nearly all the inks. I think I've only used up maybe Mandarin Orange as an ink. And I've been holding it's responsible for some poor jet stream ink performance when really the Signo ink that comes in that pen or that you can use as refills. Um, the Signo ink is really, really nice and it's archival quality and it's just nice period whereas the jet stream ink, while it is super smooth, super pigmented, it doesn't react well to adhesives or like glue or highlighters. It kind of does a weird thing possibly because it's oil based but it like spreads and warps over time and not even just a ton of time. Like I wrote over a post-it note in a notebook um, at the beginning of the school year and a month later it looked all weird and bleedy. So not my jam. So I've kind of I still have one Jetstream ink insert, or, uh, yeah, one Jetstream ink insert in that five barrel style fit pen, but I use it 
primarily just for writing in the moleskin notebook that I have as my creative writing because I don't really add any post-its or anything like that to it. And I just have the pencil in that style fit because it's really easy to have and to use and especially with the bullet journaling now and it's a superior pencil than the Coletto anyways uh, at least for as chintzy as the pen body is the mechanism to kind of like press down it just comes natural if you've ever used a mechanical pencil so I prefer it in those respects to the Coletto and I'm just using a super old click eraser that's on the outs just to get rid of all of that and I do have a little bit of extra room on the right hand side I did some tracking uh, just what I kind of wanted to work on for one book July since my theme is kind of use what you have I not only wanted to decorate my spreads myself but I also wanted to use the lipstick I have because I never wear lipstick and yet my collection is vast. I'm sure a lot of people have that problem too where you just buy something because it looks neat or you could potentially imagine yourself or the version of yourself that wears this lipstick and yet it never comes to fruition. You never actually have the guts to put it on. So I kind of want to break out of that cycle especially since I have the yin to purchase more cosmetics at the moment. Yeah, that's never good. So I, I really want to use that. I also have been working on my attendance for the whole year, and that just means showing up to appointments, to work, to school, to social engagements that I've created or have agreed to because I have a horrible time with anxiety, especially social anxiety, and I want to work on it. So I'm still tracking that. And this is my weekly spread. I decided since I picked yellow for my color of the month, since it is my birth month and it is my favorite color. I wanted to sketchy sketch something that featured yellow, so I picked a daisy because it was the easiest thing I could sketch. I did um, take some post-its and tried out all the like floral doodles I could think of, and this one looked the best, so this is what I went with. And otherwise since I don't have too many obligations this week or too many things I need to keep track of I stuck with a horizontal um, horizontal don't know why I mispronounced that just super simple week on a page and I'm really digging this cashier size insert it's just tall enough and just narrow enough to kind of fit everything I want without it being too bulky and I'm just going over that with the Micron, I think this is the 0.1 size. And I don't know, I just, it's super basic. <laughs> However, I'm recording this voiceover in, on Thursday. And although it looks basic here, I super filled it up because I'm going falling back on my old burn bullet journal style which was just listing all my to do's so I, I think I need to play with the format for next week for sure and in this lovely grid box I'm making I decided I want to track my food intake <laughs> because my eating habits are always really poor. It's not so much that I eat a ton, it's just that I don't eat, I think, at reasonable times or reasonable things. Um, and if you live with a guy in your house, 
it's probably the same. <laughs> Not to generalize or genderize, but I don't think I ate this much crap previously when I lived with just my mom and my little brother. And it's been like that for like a decade that I've been with my husband, so... <laughs> Yeah, I don't know why I chose this to kind of be more mindful of it, but it's it's kind of working. And like I said, I want to try and use what I have, which includes cosmetics. So I'm keeping track of my what lipstick I wear every day. And I even Tuesday or Wednesday, I cleaned up my entire makeup collection, threw away a bunch of stuff that smelled bad or looked bad. And now it's in an easy to access spot, so I have no excuses. And I also created a little box tracker just to make sure I was doing some of the things I wanted to do, like writing, journaling, posting to Instagram, um, food tracking, um, whether or not I posted a video, and whether or not I watercolored. And because I couldn't think of anything else, I just wrote notes down on the left-hand side. And now that we're almost halfway into this week, uh, I can safely say that that is going to probably change. Because that section I'm primarily using for video notes. Um, so I could name it as such. And I'm just going in with that. Super Beloved, I think it's the gold-colored mild liner. I don't have any of the pastel mild liners, so I just have the cool tone and the warm. And I'm still trying to keep it simple, so I'm just using that one pen, or one highlighter rather, for color. And this is how it turned out. Um, I'm going back in and just adding some drop shading, or whatever, to the actual days of the week. Um, I'm going to also post an update on Sunday showing how it actually looked, or how I used it, and kind of my reflections on that, and what I think I'll go do going forward in One Book July. But so far, this has been working. So, I hope to see you soon.